Hi all, this is manga guide number five. Um, I'm going to be talking about um, how to learn or how to begin learning Japanese um, using manga, reading manga. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell my story about how I started learning Japanese when I was 13. Um, that's, that's like 14, 15 years ago for me. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, Japanese language is made up of three alphabets. And those are katakana, hiragana, and kanji. Uh, kanji are the complicated characters um, up here. This is an example of kanji. It says bishoujo senshi. Uh, and then here is an example of katakana. It says sailor moon. And actually it says seira moon. Um, and katakana is used for gairaigo, which are foreign words, as in foreign to Jap Japanese people. Um, so French words, German words, um, English words, they would write those in, in katakana if they want to say them phonetically. Uh, kanji are how they say, or how they write the words. Um, um, they're the Chinese characters, how you would write the word. Um, for example, uh, the first three are bishoujo, which means, you know, pretty young girl, or pretty girl. Um, and then the other one is hiragana. Where's an example of that? Um, I guess I should put an example up here now. Um, that's hiragana. Um, that's actually an example of kanji, hiragana, and katakana together in one sentence and what that sentence means. Anyway, you'll learn that later. Um, um, I just wanted to tell you that because the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is whether you know um, some Japanese or not yet, like maybe you know how to write things in romaji, which is writing them in English, letters, but in you know Japanese, like I showed you in that example. Um, whether you know romaji and know some grammar or nouns or verbs or not, um, if you're still in the beginning stage of learning, the first thing I want you to do is um, memorize all the hiragana and all the katakana. Um, I've put a link to where you can view a chart of hiragana and katakana. Um, and so the first thing that I did, I didn't even have any fun. Well, I mean, it was fun for me because I was eager to learn Japanese, but I didn't have any fun. Just sat down and just straight up memorized those two charts. And I mem memorized them at the same time. So if I learned, if I start off with the, the top row, kaki hukeko, I, I memorize the hiragana and the katakana at the same time. And if you do that, you'll be less confused. A lot of people try to memorize hiragana first and then memorize katakana, but then they kind of get confused. They're like, oh, I can't remember which is which. But if you memorize them at the same time, line by line, um, you're not going to get as confused. Um, so that's the first thing you do. And then after you've done that, um, even if you're not completely, totally perfect memorized yet, but you feel like you're, you're almost there, you, that's when you can pick up your first manga and start using it to learn. The series that I chose, of course, was Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon is good because it's written for very young girls, so um, the language is pretty easy. Obviously, any manga that you pick up is going to have slang words in it. And you're going to, no matter, even if you're at year two or three, there's still, you're still going to run into things in comic books that you're not going to understand, either because cultural differences or the slang. There's areas of Japan where they all have their own unique slang and not everybody knows all the slang and stuff like that. So don't sweat it. Just sort of read around those words if you don't understand all the words. Just keep the, the idea is just keep going forward. If you keep going forward, you'll get the gist of the story and you can sort out the slang later. Assume that you don't know any Japanese yet, but you've memorized some hiragana and katakana and you're ready to look. Um, you're going to open the comic book that you've chosen in Japanese language, no English, and none, none of those English-Japanese duos. There's some comic books, like I think Card Captor Sakura series has some bilingual editions where it has the English and the Japanese. Don't do those. You don't want to crutch. Just get a pure, up, straight up Japanese comic and crack it open and start reading from the first page. Comics are read, uh, Japanese comics um, are read from right to left and up to down. Uh, I'll show you a, a, a picture of a page from a comic book with uh, the arrows drawn and numbered to show you how you're going to read it right there. And now you're probably wondering, okay, there's three alphabets, hiragana, katakana, and kanji. If I've only memorized hiragana and katakana, how am I going to read the kanji? Well, in, in the books that are written for young boys and girls, they include something next to each kanji called furigana, which is basically just the hiragana um, of how you are supposed to read that kanji. Um, here's an example. 
once you learn the hiragana, you recognize those little characters next to the big kanji, and you'll be able to read it. Of course, the first time that you're looking at the book, you're not going to know what anything means. Well, you might know if, if you are familiar with any Japanese, or you know some words, or, or you uh, have heard people say words, or watch anime, or whatever. You might recognize some of the words, but try not to think about that. I mean, obviously you'll feel good, because now you're starting to read, and it's awesome. But just try to just focus on making sure that you've got all those here done and cut to kind of memorize. Just go through uh, character by character, um, and, and just try to read it. Like, have your chart there. But flip it upside down, or or you know hide it so you can't cheat off of it, and just try to read. And if you get stuck, make your best guess and then check it with the chart, uh, and see if you're right or wrong. And you're just going to keep doing that until finally you're just going along, reading, 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 and then you've got them all down. From that point on, you can still keep on using the manga. It's just it's up to you what part of the language you want to start learning next. Do you want to start just learning nouns and verbs? Um, do you want to start learning grammar, or do you want to start memorizing kanji? Um, either of those three paths that you choose that you want to start, like you, you, that you're going to start learning, or all three together if you're up for it, uh, you can still use your comic book that you started off with. Um, so basically, you'll just be looking through it uh, like several different times, and each time you look through it, you're going to know a little bit more Japanese, and each time you're going to catch a little more of the story. And um, I suggest that because uh, if you're watching these videos, you probably like to read comics, and if if each time you're looking at this comic book, even though you're studying, you're going to be enjoying yourself because you'll be reading the story and looking at the pictures. If you're clear of comic books that are written for more like teenagers or, or adults, um, even if you are a teenager or adult, um, you're still learning, so you sort of have to go down and, and get like a, a, a little kid book so you can start learning. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I love them. Anyway, um, you want to not pick a book for a teenager or an adult because the kanji in these don't always have furigana. An example of a page from this book which has kanji and no furigana, oh no, what does it say? The other types that you don't want to start off with are um, yonkoma. Yonkoma means um, uh, you know, four panel, four square comic. Examples of those um, are Azumanga Daio and Lucky Star. These two are really popular. Um, but you shouldn't start with these because number one, they're really short. Um, they're little one strip at a time. Com they're strip comics, so there's no big, long, cohesive storyline. And it kind of helps to learn by using um, a long, cohesive storyline because if if you're reading along and then all of a sudden something doesn't make sense, then you know, oh, maybe I read that wrong, and you'll go back. Um, the other thing is these tend to have a lot of uh, slang in them, and they're they're designed just to make you laugh. So there, there might be a lot of word puns, and if you're not, uh, if you don't know Japanese yet, um, you're not going to understand the word puns, and you'll get, you might get confused and not understand what the sentence says and stuff like that. So stick with uh, little kid comics that have not a whole lot of slang. Well, every comic's going to have slang, as I said, but um, not as much. Uh, and furigana. I'm going to suggest older comics from when I was a teenager that you could try. Um, so Sailor Moon and Hunter Hunter, um, and if if you like Naruto, you'll probably also like Hunter Hunter. So check out Hunter Hunter, um, Naruto, and then other two that I like are Toshu's and Yume no Kureon Okoku. Okay, um, I'm sorry that was three books for girls and two for guys. Um, I read them all, obviously, and it's up to you, whatever your flavor is that you like. Um, but those are five suggestions. Um.